Hello and what a great day to sew something wonderful. I'm Kia with Kia B. And this is Tech Guy from the Hive and, and welcome, welcome to, to Mania. Mania. We're so excited to be back with you today. We have a very full show for you uh, to go over all of our Mania starts for 2020. It's here. I know it's here. I'm really pumped about it. It has taken me a uh, full week to get completely organized in my sense of organization um, and to just be like ready and like I know what I'm doing and, and I've known what I'm doing for we've known what we've been doing for two weeks on. three weeks probably well when we got back from market we started going we through started it. going through yes. everything but I had to order floss then we needed to like find fabric and which thankfully I don't think we needed to buy any fabric between what we picked up at market and fabric from our stash, I don't think we needed to pick up anything. That's a blessing and a curse at the same time. Yes. So we, we'll get to that in a little bit. Yes. Like, so, thankful that we had it. Yes. Right? So then we had to order things, wait for them to be shipped. Uh, and then my way of organizing is just like very like cut and dry. And I have like a specific way that I need to be just organized. Mm -hmm. And his is so different. And so where he's been ready for a while now, like... I needed some more time and in my brain everything needs to go in a project bag and I don't have that many project bags and that's not to say for someone to send us one like, no we're absolutely not saying not. that we're just saying no this, absolutely not this is I real made life. in the last week I have made almost 20 project bags which is huge which is a lot a lot so and I did that right before mania last year too and sent them off to some Various. people um and so uh yeah so I did that again this year they're a different style you'll see they're all the same style. Um, and so I've been spending the last week doing that, just making sure all my stuff is ready to go. So, so yeah, I'm still a few short, but I'm tired of making project bags yeah, right now. So we're just using the last what, couple days. Yeah. A couple days to uh, like ramp up to two weeks before mania. mania and then yeah. I've got a project I'm working on with her um, just to kind of, because she has more than double the projects. So I'm jumping in to help her on a couple different things yeah. on that to help her out. So, so um, it's a group effort. By, by, it is very a much a group, group effort. effort. He is very helpful in my crazy organization antics. So, I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. That's not a big deal. So grab your tea, grab your stitching, grab a cup of wine, a glass of wine, a cup of coffee, whatever you need. We are going to be here for a hot minute. So, and if we lose the light, we're just going to keep going. Just so, let it roll. Just, let just it roll. roll with it. Yeah. Okay, so a little backstory on Mania because I've been getting a lot of questions on our floss tubes that we've talked about it here recently. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions on what is Mania? What, you know, explain this to us. So Mania was started in 2015 by um, the Stash Queen. And she started it just as something fun with the idea of starting 15 new starts in the month of May for the year 2015. Then every year she progressed after that, 2016 would get 16 new starts. Or her intent was if you didn't finish the 15 from 2015, you had to roll them over. So if on May 1st, I started Be Kind, Be True by Liz Matthews, then and I didn't finish it in the year of 2015, on May 1st, 2016, I was to still work on that whip um, and not get a new start. On the contrary, if I finished Hello by Liz Ma Hel I'm sorry, if I finished Be Kind, Be True from Hello from Liz Matthews, then that would earn me that May 1st new start. So it was kind of like um, where you're like, yes, you're getting all these new starts, but you're super encouraged to finish them by the next mania so that you could earn more new starts the next year but you were always guaranteed one new start because we progressed a year. Right. So 2015 was 15 new starts, 2016 was 16 new starts, 17 was 17 new starts and further. Okay, so now we're to 2020 and some people are still doing that method of 20 great. new starts you've earned. Some people still have whips from 2015 or 2016, the very first time they did it. Um, which is super interesting to me because some people have chosen really, really big things as many starts. And you'll see some of my picks are a little large and in charge. Yes. Um, and we didn't do mania that way last year. Mania last year was a little bit different for us. But 
it's taken on so many forms since the stash queen originally dreamt this idea up. So some people do 31 new starts for the month of May. Some people do 31 whips for the month of May and you work on a different whip every day. Some people will do four new starts. So every week they'll change uh, to a new start. Um, some people, I mean, there's just so many different variations now than there were then. And so people are really taking it to, you know, their own creativity and really coming up with different ideas to do that. So the stash queen is who originally thought up the idea of mania. Now everyone has kind of taken it and branched off into their different, um, takes on mania their aesthetic of it yes so last year i did a mixture of quilting and cross stitch um mania starts so last year i did 16 cross stitch new starts and then that left me 15 quilting days so i think i had four quilt projects most of those are done completely done now um, and i've shown those in various videos throughout the last year yep. Um, this year I decided to omit all the quilting new starts. Last year was super stressful with one day, like cutting all the fabric, one day sewing. All. It, it just, in my mind. Life happened also. Yeah, that's very true. Life happened so. also. So, uh, so this year I'm doing that. I am, uh, pulling from the stash queen a little bit and using my whips as part of my mania. So what that means is that... I have projects that I started in Mania last year and I either didn't like the fabric, I didn't like the floss or something, and I've completely gotten rid of those. But I also have projects from Mania last year that I have not liked the fabric or the floss or something and changed that and I'm still in love with the actual pattern itself. And so I have kind of re-kit those up or have already started them throughout the last few months. And I'm going to um, start those again. Which is pretty so. cool because you want to stitch what you like. Yes. And what we've been talking about for the last month or so is our aesthetic is changing. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's always going to change. It's always going to evolve. I don't even think that's been the last month. I think it's been way longer than that. that yeah, but I think it's always progressing in yeah, some way or another. Sure. Um, it's always evolving is probably a better word for it. So, uh, but just... Going through the stash that you had from whips from last year, because we did it together. Yes. Um, and going through that, like, okay, if you're gonna stitch this, are you wanting to stitch it like this, or do you are you if you're gonna stitch it, mm -hmm. do you really want to be um, in love with it, right? Or do you want to enjoy stitching it on a different linen or uh, over dye versus DMC, or do yeah. you want to do DMC over than over dyes, mm -hmm. um, things like that? And it was good to see her brain work because I don't want her to finish something or I don't want to finish something or maybe you don't want to finish something that you're like I'm just not really enjoying it because the color or the fabric or whatever yeah. you don't want to spend you know 10 or 20 hours on a project and then get to the end of it and be like no thanks I don't think I really want to finish this what's the point I don't really think I want to FFO this or whatever and so several times over the last year which y'all have heard me talk about this in our 24 hour attempts um several times in the last last year, I've reevaluated those mania starts because I've either switched to linen and no longer liking the Ada that I was stitching on. I do have some projects kitted in Ada and you'll see, I think I've one kit up in Ada and you'll see that in my starts when we go through them. But it is, yes, there are some patterns that I want to, I, I look at it and I go, I want to keep the integrity of this pattern and I don't want to change anything if I have to change anything, only one or two. Like Prairie Schooler Santas, like I wanna keep those in their integrity in the called for DMC colors. Right. I did change the fabric because of that's what I had on hand, but like I wanted to keep the integrity of that. But then there are other patterns like Patriotic Pin Keeps that I didn't like the color variations that they chose of DMC for red, white, and blue. And so I changed those out. And so like, those are all totally fine. Like, because this is at the end of the day, this is your stitching. This is going in your house. This is your gift to give to someone. This is going on your Christmas tree. Like it needs to be something that you are in love with. Correct. And at the end of the day, you're still putting X's in. And that's what's important is that, and that's, that you're enjoying that, that you are enjoying that mania. I don't think, I mean, I've not talked to the stash queen. I don't know anything about her other than if she's watching. Hi, <laughs> other than the fact that she started mania. Um, I don't think she created this to be a stressful time. I think nope. she did it 
as this is springtime and we're getting into a really fun season. And um, so I think, I don't think it's meant to be stressful. So if, if 31 new starts stresses you out, don't do it. If five new starts in a month stresses you out, just don't do it. Find what works for you. And if your current, just like everyday plan works for you, continue on that. It's still fun to see what other people are stitching as well. Yeah, and there's, and there again, there is no hard, fast rule for yeah, this. And it's, no. mm -mm. please hear us say that. Like we want it to make, make it a fun experience. Yeah. This is how we're doing it. I'm doing it way different than she is doing mm -hmm. it. Um, kind of on purpose to be quite honest, just because if we're doing the exact same thing, I want other people to first share what they're doing mm -hmm. um, and be comfortable with like, hey, this is, I'm doing my, I'm doing mania differently. Yeah. I mean, we encourage that. Yeah, absolutely. Like we encourage you to, and I mean, who, what authority do we have? But we do encourage you to, to do whatever you want to do in May and- Have fun with it. Have fun have with fun. it. Have fun. Yeah, I'm so excited to start mania. Fine. Several times have I thought like, oh, I don't know if I can hold out till May to start some of these I mean, that's things. the thing, right? I yeah. am looking forward to this starting uh, despite what's going on in the climate right now. Yeah. And I'm super looking forward to this and having it's fun. It's going to be great. And, um, you know, it's just, it's going to be a great time. Yes. And that's the great thing. I foresee a lot of people starting to travel again in May and June, like towards the end of May and June and especially July. And cross stitch you can take with you and so like we're just really hoping and praying that we can can make a trip maybe towards the end of, of may to you know we always if you've been around a long time you know we travel a lot during the summer because we go to my grandfather's house about two hours away and we spend the weekend there sometimes a week and we're really praying that that can happen at the end of may and if it does that's great mania can go with us mm -hmm. and it's portable and it's fantastic and it's a stress reliever and so for us, that's what's important about mania is that we're still having fun with it. Absolutely. And when so. it gets to the point that's stressing out, reevaluate. Yep. And there's no shame in that. I'm like, yep. just reevaluate. Yeah, exactly. So it's not supposed to be stressful. So okay. we say that to say this. Yeah, we say all of that 12 minutes in to share our plans with you. So would you like to say, what are your overall plans? You're doing how many projects? I'm doing 13 projects. 13. What is there like an... There's no... There is no rhyme. There is no reason. It's just... Blind. I literally looked at our stash, picked the things that I want to stitch. Mm -hmm. We had it available, 75, 80% of it available, um, minus the DMC or over dies, which is not a big deal because we uh, mm -hmm. we made an order to our LNS, a little keepsakes. <laughs> and um, yeah, I just said, you know, I'm at the point now that we're we have a stash. And I say when we pick these certain patterns up at any given time in the last couple of years, I want to stitch this. I yep. want to stitch this. I want to stitch this. So I don't want to get to the point for myself that I say I'm going to stitch it, but I never get to it. Yeah. Um, or you start it and you never come back. And right? never come back. So I am breaking the monogamous stitcher. I've already broken it a couple weeks ago. And that's going to be the next floss tube. We'll talk about that in a minute. All right. Next video. Um, but I'm going to, the goal is to start 13 projects and to finish those 13 projects by the end of the year. It's a lofty goal. It is a very lofty goal. Yeah. But, you know, that's just what I'm going to do right now. Yeah. Um, I am doing 31 projects. Uh, they are not necessarily 31 new starts. I think I have 22 new starts. I think I have 23 new starts and so eight whips i've completed some whips my goal since we got back from market so mid-march uh my goal was if you finish however many projects you finish before mania is another new start you get to add on to mania so like i said earlier i am taking that away from the stash queen and how she originally set it up that i am including whips in that and so um i'm doing 31 projects so i'll do i'll switch projects every day so. and that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna rotate yeah yeah. Okay. How do we want to do this? Do you want to go first or? I will definitely go first because I will definitely need some help oh, yes. on, okay. on fabric things because I did not jot that down. Yes. So what's, do you want to show? I've got a list. <laughs> okay. But do you want to show my organization? Oh yeah. Let's order? just, let's just, let's pull Okay. It, rip so off. I have whip sheets, <laughs> one, uh, a half a sheet per project that lists the fabric I'm using and all the all the flosses, whether they're called for 
or substitutions. And so these are my oh, pages. Wonderful. Just so these are two, and I've got you know a small book here that goes in my 24 hours of cross stitch planner. And would you like to show? And I'm not knocking this. If no, this is, this no. is his organization and it works for him. So, so that's my list. <laughs> I love it. And again, I think I'm going to detail this a little bit more, but I'm making it super yeah. easy, super comfortable. I'm not stressing out trying to find where things Ooh. are. I'm not saying that. Sorry. It's not the company, I promise. You better not. It's the lack of sleep. It's the lack of sleep. But I'm kind of doing this on purpose. I don't want it to be stressful for me. Yeah. I'm not saying if she handed me this and put a lot of time, I wouldn't appreciate it. I definitely would. But I'm just going to go with this. Yeah. Cool? Okay, go for it. Awesome. I did organize the order of these things, so yay for me, right? So my first one, oh, look at this bag. <laughs> That's a, that's a Kia B special right here. All right. And then the first chart. I, I can hold up shirts. Oh, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. So that is ABD. I love you. Or hello, I love you. Or hello, Friday, I love you. I've got to change the chart a little bit. Uh, the reason why I want to do that is because we do have Friday night stitches. Or we have friends that come over on Friday nights usually. Um, not right now, but usually. And then I am going to put it on this tea dye McKinney that we did. Mm -hmm. And then I am doing called for floss. Um, that is not tea dye. That is just joking. Yeah. If you want a tea dye, that's fine. Nope, we I'm can do that. One. Um, yeah. So this chart says, hello, Saturday. I love you, but uh, he's going to rechart it to say Friday. Yep. Um, that is just regular McKinney. It's not McKinney. dyed yet. It's not yet. Okay, cool. And you're doing called for, is that what you're I'm saying? doing called for. All right, I am doing this. Look at this lovely bag right here. Little Link Zelda. Where's that bag from? Oh man, from Cindy and Jin Lee and Brandon. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, I don't know if we can, there should be a sheet in there. Um, there is, with just the picture. Anyway, while she's looking oh, through yeah. that, yep. This is actually gonna be a birthday, not a birthday, this is gonna be a Christmas gift. I don't uh, think the person that it's for watches our no, channel. No, it's fine. So. That's cool. Uh, he works for Nintendo. Loves Zelda. Is that really what it's called? Yeah, I'm just going to call it Triforce. <laughs> I'm just calling it Triforce because we like to keep this PG. Um, and I'm going to do it on Black Ada on Golden Star with Golden Star from, Color, uh, from Classic Colorworks. And I wanted to do it on Black Ada to give it a nod for my first Mania. So this is chalkboard by Chalk Wachelp. Yep, Wachelp. I wanted to give it a nod to my first Mania last year. Uh, one of my first projects ever was on Black Ada. Hand me one of those golden stars. Oh, absolutely. You guys, look how much this is going to pop off of this. Look at that. Isn't that going to be beautiful? Yeah, well, that's what it's going to Nope, not that Just one. Just joking, huh? <laughs> I already shut it. <laughs> yep. So That'll be cool. uh, just more of a nod. And yeah. I know he would really, really. What is this from? Uh, it's from Etsy. I know, but what is the what is the Triforce? Triforce thing? is a huge simple symbol in video games. If you're into video games or into Zelda or Link, you know exactly what that is. Gotcha. I won't bore you if you don't. It's okay. All right, I'm gonna put that right. Yeah, I can. Mer, thank you. Thank you. And then this is what I'm really excited about is we met a fabulous lady. We met a lot of people, fabulous people over in Market. Um, met a fabulous lady named Teresa Kogut. I don't know if you heard of her. She's kind of a big <laughs> She's deal. She's the little designer you on know, the side. Kind of a big deal <laughs> if uh, in the industry. Um, and Oh, this is it right here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. I'm actually, we picked up this book. Thank you. And then I'm actually doing this. Yeah. And it's going to be an all called for. And it is a mix of over dye. This book is it's really it is pretty. Gorgeous. Yeah, if you haven't picked it up yet, this is, it this pattern's called Stairway to Ew. Um if you have not picked up this book yet, these are just two of the designs in it. They're beautiful. Oh she's man. Got she's phenomenal. Yeah. And I I've said this in the last year or so. Yeah. If I meet a designer and I think they're just phenomenal people that are, they connect with me, I want to just stitch their stuff and say, Hey, I met this person, I stitch their stuff. Yeah. Um, and then I have the overdyed and Comes in with uh, Weeks Dye Works and Color Classic. Classic Color, color Works. works. Um, I'm like a What's your fabric for this? It's a great question. Okay. It's in there somewhere. 
It's not in here, it's but not we'll in find it. We'll, it eventually. We'll cut it somewhere. Okay, so here are the floss colors for that and yeah. then this DMC. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. So pretty. Awesome. I really I'm like that book. Back here. Have That's you... interesting. We need to find the floss for that. You mean the I fabric? mean the fabric for that. So this one is Heart and Hand Creeping It Round. This is from the Halloween mystery box that my lovely wife uh, gifted me for oh, Hall baby. during Halloween. <laughs> um, and let me go. Yep, there we go. There we go. And it's one of those things that I was gifted something. And I'm like, I'm going to, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it now. Yeah. I'm going to do it for Mania. So uh, Heart and Hand Creeping Round, which is phenomenal. Isn't that so cute? And look at cat. that. Look at that cauldron bubble. And I did buy him Ada because at that point he was not stitching any linen. It's all good. And I didn't want him to for want to force him to. Yep. So. It's okay. And it comes with everything for the finishing. Everything for the finishing. Everything. It actually has so that'll its own be going bag. To, Jan to finish like that. Yes, 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 yes. It actually comes with a. I know, and it's own little bag blurry. and everything. So cute. All right. I Guys, if I'm looking off to the side, we never film during the day. And um, we're filming during the day and it's bright. Our, we can see outside right here. And cars keep passing by and people are walking and I'm just like, oh, I'm not filming anything. I'm just watching. <laughs> and I keep catching myself doing that. Squirrel. Squirrel. All right. Oh, yes. This bag is awesome. Amazing. Yes. One of you guys sent this to us and it's just fantastic. Mm, 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 mm. All right. So this is, this is the one I've, uh, I picked out of her stash. Oh, Farm yes. fresh eggs. Let me take it out of the bag. Yes, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead crinkly shore. for a second. Show its glory. So this is from Luminous Fiber Arts. Oh, man. And it is Farm Fresh Eggs from Misty Parcel. Parcel. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Love this. And so... You did have to make a couple of substitutions, correct? Yes. Um, They did not have... Honeycomb. Honeycomb. And so what did we change it to? Do you remember? I don't remember. Okay. Yeah. So you did have to make a couple of adjustments because just... our LNS did not have um, the colors. Yeah. And this is okay. actually the fabric that it's going to be on. So this is an under the sea fabrics. Um, I don't remember the color name of I this. I don't either. But look at that, you guys. It's going to pop. When you see the over dyes. That's what I'm grabbing right now. The over dyes on this. And there's this. some DMC on here. Yes, there is some DMC. So she did, um, this was 32 count dapple by picture this, pro, picture this, this plus. plus. And so we chose yeah. this, um, from, it it's going to look so good. Yes. Like, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And it's a big piece. It is. It's, it is and nice. it's actually five separate pieces. So you've got the big sign and then the four separate eggs. So we've got right. all of that. Which is going to be. Yep. I have fun with that. It's going to be awesome. Fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and zip This that. will be a long video. We're already 20 minutes in. That's awesome. And this is Val stuff. This is such a great interaction we had at market. Um, Speaking of meeting people and just wanting to stitch their stuff. And just want to stitch their stuff. And they're like, yes, go ahead and stitch this, please. And I was like, okay. Yeah. Go ahead and. Okay. And so this, this is, is an all in one kit. Head over heels for Halloween. Yep. And again, it comes with all the things to finish that. Yes, and on this one, I'm actually going to finish. I'm going to try to finish a mania. Oh, Start during mania? Yeah, because it's not going to be that big. Yeah. So, I mean, it has all, it literally has all the stuff. That I think it may not come with. The bottom. Oh, yeah. The. Mm, it doesn't come with the fabric you stitch on. We'll figure it out. Yep. So we'll pull maybe an under the sea for this. Oh yeah. Something crazy. We have Hera. I mean, we have a lot. Oh, we have a lot of brights. So we'll pull something cool. for that. Awesome. I didn't realize we hadn't done that yet. Oh, that's all right. Oh, that means I haven't done that yet. <laughs> all right. And then Lucy Beam Love and Stitches Be Stitchy. This is when I'm gonna go like. So we went really. He went really creative with this one. Um, because we met them again at market, loved, loved meeting them. Okay. So be stitchy. I'm sure you've seen lots of people pick this up at market and yep. saw this. Um, but because this is just like a fun, like un, unthemed yes. piece, he was like, let me just find the great. Let me go ahead stuff. and let me go ahead and do something for you. So again, under the sea fabrics looks very Sherbert. 
And then this basically calls, it calls for three colors. Um, one of the colors, I don't know if you can see this in the pattern, all those little dots are colors and, or uh, is one color. And he looked at it and didn't love all the little, nope. the little like blips of stitches. And yep. so he's basically going to do the border and then these. So he really only needed two colors for this. Look at that. Look at that. Is that, that. golden star? Yeah. Oh no, squash. Squash. And then a color. But look cotton. at that. It's going to pop. It is. It's really going to. And we want to do something. Awesome. I want to do something fun and outside the aesthetic of my color wheelhouse, mm -hmm. if that's even a thing. It's going to be big. It's 207. Okay. It's going to be long. It's going to be great. It's going to be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. It's going to be fun. And it's no. not just because I could. For me, it's just two colors, right? So I wanted to have fun with it. I want to have this fun with the fabric. This is a good car stitching piece. It is a good car stitching piece. For my. Uh, Stitchy lunches. Mm -hmm. And then, oh. That under the sea fabrics is a 32 count. Uh, something. So. This is a PTP fabric. Here, I'll have you show this. Oh, man. Yeah. This is a yep. PTP, PTP fabric. So picture this plus fabric that we picked up in their orphan sale. It's reading a lot darker on the camera than it, it is. is. It's a very peachy color. It's not really going to show up. No, it's not. Um, it's a very peachy pink color. It's not this. That um, is weird. Yeah. It's no, not it, that's, this. You're not seeing the color that it actually yeah. is. It's not this brown, darker brown color. Mm. Man. I don't want to get that glare. Look at that. Haynes Sampler. All called for DMC. All DMC um, because yep. oh, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be great. It's going to be uh, something that we that I'm going to cherish very much. I can't wait for you to stitch that, hang it in our house. Like, oh, I'm so excited. It is. This is his start that I am most excited about. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so I'm I'm really that's a that's just a beautiful piece in general. And what is that bag? Who made that bag? Who made that bag? That's right. Uh, of course. Your little Harry Potter action here. Love it. From the Crafter Emporium. Emporium. All right. Hello from Liz Matthews. She is such a wonderful gal. Mm -hmm. uh, easy to talk to, very approachable. And of course, I saw this at market and I had to have it. I want to make sure there's not a glare on it. There'll be a glare. Uh, beautiful piece, solid in person. Yonder. Going yonder. Now, which die is this? I believe that's a tea die. This is gonna be a tea die. I'm fairly certain that's and a tea. And it called die. for DMC. And it's McKinney. Yes, McKinney. From um Avlia. 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 And you're cut you're stitching this in what? The called for DMCs? I am the called for DMC. It actually calls for NPIs. Um, but she's so lovely and she puts conversions on there for DMC. Thanks, so, Liz. I guess it's not technically called for DMC, but she called for she a DMC. Does put the conversions on there. So, so oh, Luhu stitches. Love it. Squirrel and his nut. Is that what it's called? A squirrel and his nut? Yeah. yeah. So pretty. A little piece of bikini. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? Yonder was coffee dyed. This is tea, tea dyed. dyed. I'm sorry. So we had a lot of fun dyeing fabrics, mm -hmm. um, which is phenomenal. And we made some substitutions, but it was already in here. Um, most of them is going to be um, gassed or Weeks Dye Works. And then there's a couple of colors that she already names the DMC conversion. And we just picked the DMC up. Yeah. Yeah. So we well, wanted to start. have that in? Oh. Elf. Come on now. Elf. Are you serious? Of course. No, I love that. Of course. I passed through the seven levels of the candy cane forest. Love it. I love <laughs> through it. Through the swirly twirly gumdrops. I love that movie. It's a... It's that is a, a Christmas favorite. It is a favorite in our household. Oh, man. Phenomenal, right? You put that in a Christmas bag? Yep. Everybody yep. wanted to know what fabric this is. This one... And the purple one with the Halloween skeletons is from Andover Fabrics. It is a line called, 
I don't remember. If you just Google skeleton Andover fabric, these You'll are find gonna it. pop up. You're gonna find They're it. They're harder to find now, but yeah, that's where this is from. So this is this is gonna be called for DMC. Sue Hill is what a sweet lady. Um, the last three projects, I'm getting Sue Hill is out. This is wine dyed bikini. Yes, very wine dyed bikini. Well, not to Sue Hillis. So it's got like that pinky kind of really rough tint to it, which with the called for DMC, um, there are two beautiful colors of red that's going to go along with that. Here, I'll show you actually. Yep, go ahead. Um, there are two variations of red because you know Sue Hillis calls for eighteen thousand DMC colors, so and we she love gets her a good for it. Very variegation. Oh. Um, but again, the it in this the pinks aren't coming I'm through. through. Which is great for my complexion because I'm, I'm very pale and pink. <laughs> uh, but in this, yeah, like up here is more pink. So this is going to look really good. It's going to pop. Mm -hmm. It's going to be awesome. And then we have a friend of ours that is stitching that as well. So I thought... We have two friends, actually, that are stitching Oh, yes, this. we are. We have two friends. Mm -hmm. Our friend Chelsea that we talk about all the time. And then our friend Rachel. Uh, she is new, newer to adult stitching. Um, I think I say that. It's because she has a very crafty mother. And I'm sure that she stitched in her younger years. And so she, during this time that we're all at home, she reached out and she was like, okay, I wanna buy a pattern, tell me what to buy. And I didn't respond quick enough. And so she went through our Instagram, both of ours, and she saw him post about that one. And she was like, that is perfect, I need to stitch it. So she ordered and she got everything. And so, um, yeah, so she's stitching that too, which is super fun because I love when people start new cross stitch. It's Absolutely. And then this is a vintage Sue Hillis kit that yes. one of our subs sent us. So one of you guys sent us this and he is 100% stitching this up. Yes, 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 yes. Um, except for this is not the fabric for this. Uh -huh. Yeah, this it's is all right. the fabric for something We'll just roll else. with it. So. And then call for DMC. Yep. Cool. And then the last one we actually picked up from StitchCon because uh, last year. Because this is a StitchCon exclusive. Yes. Look at that. Oops. Look at that. Look at that. It's a beautiful piece. That's cool. We um, bought a camper last year for our anniversary. Um, and so we have been really into like all the camping pieces. So when we saw this at StitchCon, we had to have it. Oh, that's the fabric it's going to be on. Isn't that pretty? Isn't it great? It's a color in cotton. What color is that? Uh, that is called... Nope, here you go. Just joking. It is called Bluebird, Bluebird. and it's a 14 count Ada. Yes. So that is going to be Phenomenal. beautiful. Yep. So, and that is 13, my friends. 13 original, 15 nifty unite. Okay. 13 original. So that's where we're at. So apparently I've got to go find some fabric in our stash. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize uh, everything was No, I'm sorry. It's my project. So, I mean, yeah, you know, it's one of those things. Yeah. But other than that, I'm going to go ahead and put these here because I'll touch them later and mm -hmm. uh, reorganize them for Mania. Yeah. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Please comment down below which one of your favorites or if you have any more questions about which one's which. Yeah. Or if you want to see something closer up, we can always show them. And you'll see them as he's stitching them too. Oh, absolutely. Uh, we don't know what our filming schedule is going to look like. Um, we don't know if we're going to steal an idea from Pam and Steph that they film each night their progress. Um, I don't want to do my makeup every single day. If I'm just being honest, uh, I don't do my makeup every single day, except for when we're filming. I don't do my makeup. Um, every single and day. if we go anywhere and right now we're not going anywhere. So I don't want to do my makeup every day. So we may not film every day. Um, you know what? I might have like a, one of those glamour shots before mania. And then you just sit here and I'll just have a glamour shot. It'll, it'll, <laughs> it'll be like our 24 hours of cross stitch videos where I'm like fully makeup ready to film. And then as the night goes, my makeup's like melting off my face. At one point I just go wash it off and put glasses on and I'm over it. Yeah. Oh man. So yeah. I'm really looking forward to mania. Uh, selfishly, I'm looking forward to uh, starting these projects. Yeah. So. Yeah. Cool. Okay. My mania. Woo! 35, 35 minutes. minutes in. We'll get there. Okay, my very first project, um, I we just had a panic, y'all. <laughs> I told you, I've, it's been a, a week and a week and a half of me organizing my projects to death. To death, okay? The boys are up. 
because it's the middle of the day. Yeah. Um, organizing them to death. I just got all of my project bags done. I were getting ready to film and I count all my bags and I only have 30 projects. I'm like, uh, where's 31? Like I should have, I bought stuff for 31 projects over. I mean, not all at one time, but I know I had 31 projects when I made these with these whip things. And, um, so yeah, because we put Excel spreadsheets together. It was under something and, and I was fear what stressing we yeah. out. Okay, so my very first project, and and the uh, way I show them is not necessarily the way I'm going to do them. Uh, it's just the order I have them on my whip sheets. It's it's no order. So it's going to be the Cricut Collection. Be thankful, guys. I bought this almost a year ago and kitted it up, and I still haven't gotten to start it yet. So it's that Cricut Collection. What a great excuse to start it, right? Yes. So I am putting this on 32 count Twilight Blue. Awesome it's color. So beautiful. Yeah. So that is the fabric. It's a very, very like stiff fabric. So I am here for it. But you guys, that little project, and look at all these flosses that go into that is it one. Floss project. or flosses? I don't know. It's like deer. Oh, that wasn't even all of them because they no, there was stuck a, in the bottom. Some loose ones there. Yes. So be thankful that yep. is gonna be a project for me. Okay, this next one is a mania project that I started last year. I restarted it on a 24 hours of cross stitch video. Um, and again, did not. So the first time in, in mania, the first time I started it and I was using three strands on 14 count Ada and realized I hate that I hated the chunky look. And so I restarted it and then realized uh, on a new Ada and using regular two strands on a 14 count. And then I wasn't loving it either. I mean, I was loving it. It looks great, but I want to put it on a linen. And so um, this is Jardin Privé, Au Pays de Gnomes. Nice. I know. It's beautiful. Uh, Christian from Married with Stitches, he started He's this. working on that right now. Uh, yes. And um, so I was like, man, I can't wait for Mania for me to restart this. I am putting this. I am being crazy. Hear her say this. I know. I am putting this on, this is a 20 count from Weeks Dye Works called Blue Jeans. And I am putting it on that. And so I think that's going to look really, really good. The only thing I had to change was the color of their hats. I had to make a little bit darker. Yep. Uh, when I did a floss toss, it needed to be a little bit darker. And so... Um, yeah, so that's happening. I got you. Okay, the next one is a whip that I started last year. This is my very first piece that I crossed over to linen. This is the piece that Stephanie taught me how to cross, um, how to teach or how to stitch on linen. She really like sat next to me at Keepsakes and, and we went through this. So this is a whip. It's been a whip for um, a long time. Yes. Not quite a year, but a long time. So I've got all the words at the bottom done. So this is Spring Celebrations from Country Cottage Needleworks. And this is on 32 count uh, color, excuse me, 32 count color and cotton called lemonade. So I'm really pumped about that. I did do a full floss conversion on that because, um, yes, because I handed the pattern to Susan, the floss whisperer at our LNS and said, hi, can you change this for me? And she did and it was awesome and I loved it. So thanks Susan. So speaking of 32 count lemonade, I also have another mania start from last year that I restarted called Stitching Time from Country Cottage Needleworks. I love this so, so much. And I am putting this on the 32 count lemonade as well. I love wow. it. Yeah. And I am stitching this with DMC. I didn't do all of the called for uh, variegations, so. I really like it that way. Yeah. Okay, the next one is a whip that I am doing. Uh, baby, it's cold outside, Sal. Mm -hmm. Baby, it's cold, Sal, I think is what it's <laughs> called. Uh, you guys have all seen this. It is for our dear friend, Lee, Lee Ann, who passed away um, just this past year. It's been a really rough year for that cross-stitch community um, and, and losing her. And so um, I love that we have something to, when I stitch, I can just think of her. And I just love that so much. And if you did not know, on the back of this pattern is the lyrics to the full song. And man, it gets me every time. I love this song. I just love um, everything. Speaking of Elf, they sing this in yes. Elf. 
So I am stitching that. Everything, Can't give any spoilers out though. Um, everything is called for. And so um, I have not picked this up in quite a while. So this is what I have done so far. I've got quite a ways to go there. It's a big piece. It is a ginormous piece of um, fabric. Here for you doing that. Yeah. So there you go. All right, we're getting there. Okay, um, those I do not see. I just picked up a um, sheet, and both of those got done. So they're not even whips anymore, which is awesome. Wow. I know. How exciting. I know. Okay. Um, I am off. Somewhere. Somewhere. Nope, I'm not off somewhere. Okay. This one is. Look called... at that bag. Let's check out this bag. Yeah. So it's. Um, wow. Pumpkins. Look at that bag. And then gingham with a floss bag inside. Gingham it out. Yes. So this next one you guys have seen before. I've been, I've worked on it. I started this when we did our fall stitch with us weekend at Keepsakes. And so this is Brenda Gervais, boo to you. I love these characters. Like I love the pumpkin guy, the snowman, like a peppermint patty. Oh my, I'm here for it. I love this so, so much. And I am stitching this on 36 count Winter's Brew by R&R. &R. So, and I surged all my edges on my fabric for projects. So that's how much I have done so far. His little suspenders. So there we go. All right, now I think we can flip a page. you have a needle in there? I do. Mm. Did you stick Found yourself? it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, you guys know you saw this on the floss tube. Someone sent us this bag uh... she made just for me and just for this project and um, we will be, be talking about this more in our floss tube in the coming weeks, but as soon as this is over, I'm gonna keep this sow continue, like this campaign of encouragement to continue because um, it needs to, because we do need to be a community of encouraging and not negativity. And so the sow is gonna continue and it's always gonna stay in this bag. So this whip is Be Kind, Be True from Hello from Liz Matthews. And um, so, like I said, after I finish this particular whip, then I'll pick another chart that is um, something to do with a bee, be kind, be encouraging, be something. So this is, I had this on my stand working on it last night. So this is uh, the progress on that. That is on 32 count Witch Hilt Platinum. And then I'm doing all the called for colors because they're so cute. And she does a great job of finding all those. Okay, this bag, y'all. I just made this bag specifically for this project <laughs> because you know how much I love to stitch houses. So this bag is for the Drawn Thread Sunnyside Sampler, which is the sampler that I have chosen to do for 2020. So I... Um, which I guess you're gonna see a little progress update before our floss too, but that's totally fine. This is gonna be a long one. Yes. So. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I love it so I love those colors. Much, yeah. It pops. Yep. So that goes in the house bag. Yes. Okay, we'll keep going. Next one is gonna be a new start for us. This is in a beautiful bag from the Crafter Emporium that they made for us and I love it so much. So this is a Teresa Kogut pattern. Be kind. And again, if you have this pattern and you want to stitch it using the hashtag be an encouragement on Instagram, that is our campaign that we just talked about for being kind and encouraging on the social platform and just encouraging other people yeah. in um, just in general, being a kind human. So uh, this would work for that as well. So it's called be kind. And I am stitching this actually on a 32 count raw by Nikki's creations. So oh. I love the, wow, that's cool. I know it's, I love the, uh, the look of this linen. And while she's doing this, this is actually some of the first times I've actually seen all of her projects mm -hmm. um, because we've been kind of doing our own thing. Yeah, getting, that's very true. So, so that one I'm doing all called four flosses. Okay. This is the Ada project <clears throat> that I have and I kit this up, <coughs> excuse me, a year ago at Keepsakes, the very first time we went to Keepsakes. Um, and so this is Country Cottage Needleworks ABC Sampler. This is a 2010 sampler that she came out with. 
And I kit this up with 42 count onyx from Under oh, the Sea. Oh my goodness. Isn't that awesome? It's phenomenal. Like when you guys see the flosses up against this, I'll just pull out some of them. I'm doing all the called for, so all the weeks that it calls for, and a, a couple of DMCs for back stitching and such. Oh, I just dropped one. I mean, are you dead? Are you joking? Kefren, are you dead? I'm so excited. It looks so good in person. So that is going on that. This um, skein of floss, when we pick it up after we film, goes in that bag. I just yes, ma'am. Gotcha. And that pattern goes in that bag. See, we complete each other. I hope so. <laughs> okay. The next... Oh, I dropped one all the way over there. Okay. The next one I'm doing, I made a Wizard of Oz project bag. And if I made a Wizard of Oz project bag, what do you think goes in it? A sow with Steph. So this pattern came out uh, at market this year and um, she took half of the pattern. I'm taking this half. It was a collaboration with Home Street. Heartstring Samplery. Um, and the other, it's called, this one's called Sewn in Friendship. Um, and I love it it's so awesome. much. Look at that. So we are both stitching this on 40 count Weeks Dye Works Confederate Gray. And um, with all the called for, except for mascara. I think we're changing mascara to 310. I think I kit this up with mascara. Who owns 310? Who owns 310? So, look at those beautiful colors. And then we'll send them to Jan. She'll finish them and they will live at keepsakes for a little while, actually, uh, to sit as models, I think. I think that's what the plan is. So, um, that is what it is, is it's Plum Street and Heartstring Samplery. They both did it as kind of a, um, it's called a pin keep or a pin give. So the idea is that you stitch it, you keep one for yourself and then you give the other one away. And so that's what we're doing. So we're cool. just stitching them with each other. Um, if that idea super interests you and you're stitching bestie, I know keepsakes bought a lot of them with an, uh, intent to do a sow to like a bestie sow. So, um, so that's how that's, that's pretty go. cool. Yeah. A yeah. Great concept. Okay. I'm going to try and grab this project bag that fell all the way down here. Okay. This next one is a, another Teresa Kogut. I have all my whips. Huh? You have two trees. I know. Man, I know I'm jealous. It. Um, I'm keeping all of my mania whips cause there's, or a mania starts in a three tiered Ikea cart. You guys all know the three tiered yes. roller cart. And so I'm keeping all of those. So if you see me keep reaching over here, it's because that's where I'm going. So it's just, just a succulent thing. No rhyme or reason to why this project is in here. Um, this is Teresa Kogut called This Land. Sadly, this was going to be my StitchCon Smalls Exchange. Um, but we are not doing that anymore and it's so sad. Uh, but that's okay. So this is called This Land. This was a gift from Stephanie when she came for Thanksgiving, I think. It could have been when she came for Nathan's birthday. I don't remember which. Um, and I'm, again, stitching this on the uh, 40 count Confederate Gray from Luke Styworks. Liz talks about this on her video because I did send her some of this and then she sent me some fabric as well. It is very see-through. Like, I mean, you can see my she fingernail polish through it, but I love that. And I love the transparency of it. You guys look at this floss palette though. Try and get it to where it's not all jumbled. So. Sorry if I'm wrestling. Look at that. It's going to be beautiful. There are some DMCs in there too. There are three. There we go. Yeah. Okay. We'll keep going. All right. In my so much to love March project bag. I actually have the next two projects. Uh, it's because they're a series. So I'm just going to stick with those. These are going to get um, stitched on 32 count Jobelin and Sandcastle. And these are whirly gigs that I call dinglings because I can't ever remember the name <laughs> of them. So I've got um, autumn and winter here. I also have summer and spring in my stash, but these two I actually have fully kitted. So I'm going to start both of those on two separate days of mania. Guys, look how pretty this sandcastle is. That's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. That's actually showing up pretty true to color oh yeah it is so it's interesting to me that some things do and some things don't 
So, got that. All right, keep going. Keep going. Okay, this one is Liberty Pillow by Tiny Modernist. Now, when I printed this last year, because I did stitch this once already, but I want, uh, as a stitch con, see, we lost the light. Mm -hmm. As a stitch con start for last year, or I'm sorry, stitch con smalls exchange for last year, I stitched this and our friend Karen got it. Um, and I wanted to stitch it again for myself. Now my printer was running out of ink, so it looks terrible. Um, but this is the pattern. And I am putting this on a 32 count Lugana from Under the Sea Fabrics called Hera. Love now it. that's reading very purple, but it is very blue. Very blue. Yes. And then I'm doing all the DMCs for that. Cool. Which is what she calls for. So there we go. Yep. So that's that. Cool. The next one is from Summer House Stitchworks. I am very excited. Look at that bag, you guys. Look at that fabric. Awesome. I love it. Okay. So we picked this up at Market and the called for Sulky Floss Pack. And so I will be stitching this. I did go ahead and cut the fabric to do two separate. I don't know if I'm going to make them into drums, but I am going to stitch them separately. And I don't know. I'm going to talk to Jan and see what she thinks. Um, Jan, the finisher, keepsakes. So this is going on 32 count steel from Nikki's creation. Which is a so, really cool color. Look at that. Really cool. So color. pretty. So, and then um, sh they call for the floss pack for um, Sulky. And so this, look at those colors. They're beautiful. Yes, I love it so much. So this is also the thread pack for the Hands-On Design um, Patriot Collective. And so just keep that in mind. Okay. Awesome. So those are two patriotic. I tried to pick some from like every season, every um I like a little bit from the whole year. So we'll see if I did a good I think you did a variation. Great this goes with it goes in that way I just put in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, this next one is another luminous fiber arts that we picked up at market. <laughs> this is spooky October. Our friend Heather from Crafter Emporium just started this and I'm here for, she's doing the border first you guys that stresses me out i don't know we'll see when i start stitching it so this is spooky october and i'm doing all the dmcs and this is also going on that 32 count hera from under the sea fabrics so when i looked at this i was like man that'll be really good for spooky yeah, it's october pop. it's really gonna pop off of there like some of the dmcs are super bright this is not all of them but some of them like look at that come on it's gonna be awesome of course it's gonna be great. I'm here for it. Everybody's ears are blown out now. I'll make sure, I'll try to remember <laughs> to lower it. Okay, in my chicken bag, look how cute that fabric is. <laughs> ah. Okay, in my chicken bag is my next project. This will be a new start. This is going to be Spring Quilt Tree from Hello from Liz Matthews. I love this so much, okay? And again, this is an orphan from the PTP sale. And this is pulling pretty pink. Maybe it's that light. Maybe it because is. Because now that the light's off, we can see the true colors. So we need to remember that. It's pulling a little more pink than it is. It's very pale. And then here is the floss toss for that. Oh, I am just, oh. again, dropping floss. We're just dropping floss. Yes, so that goes in my chicken bag. And I'm excited to start that. And I am going to finish it as a tree. Actually, Liz at market this year gave me the little, um, the little thing that it st stands on like this. And she has a great tutorial on her channel of how to finish it into a tree. So Ooh. that's going to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> They're yelling about something. Okay. Next we have on the 32 count raw again from Nikki's creations. I love this fabric so much. So I bought the Mandy to Donna Let Freedom Ring box from Market this year. And I don't know it's going to get finished in a box. But I am doing that because that quilt, y'all, the quilt and the house and the sheep. I mean, how can I not stitch that? That's so lovely. And so I bought the um, thread, um, the thread thing and the... Thread keep. Thank you. The thread keep and the pin, the patriotic pins. And so I'm going to stitch that on that 32 count raw. And there are no substitutions in that at all. 
everything is called for. Okay, next is some Lori Holt fabric. I love that, I just like this fabric a lot. This is quickly becoming probably my favorite start of Mania because I'm just so excited for it. So we bought the sewing club kit also from Market. You'll see a lot, uh, not a lot, but a lot, okay, a lot of our starts are from Market because we want to help encourage those new designs and new designers um, that we picked up, like Cindy from Luhu Stitches. She's not a new designer, but she had a lot of new things and this was her first Market. So we wanted to include Correct. some of those. So we did pick up the sewing club book from Blackbird. It smells wonderful. I know you can't smell it, but it smells weird. So I am actually doing this <laughs> sampler right here. Um, I'm going to try and open oh. it. Okay, so it's that. This is called Willing Hands. And if you can't read it, it says she works with willing hands in delight. And when I saw that, I knew I needed to stitch it. Um, that just 100% seems like something my grandmother would say. Like, very much seems like something my grandmother would say. So I knew I needed to stitch that. So that is going on 40 count Confederate gray, which you've already seen like six times in projects because I'm obsessed with it. So, um, you know, I'll take it. Thank you. You're welcome. And, uh, we're doing all the called for the only substitutions I had to make were two flosses that it called for. One was weak style works dirt road. And I changed it, uh, Susan or Stephanie, somebody at keepsakes changed it to, um, classic color work straw hat. And then I had to make a substitution of Classic Color Works Hazelnut for Weeks Dye Works Schneckly. Watch your mouth. Schneckly. <laughs> so, because I didn't have that. And so, that's fine. Right. I just make do. Okay, the next one is a So Much to Love project bag. This is this month's project bag. And I'm obsessed. It's so cute. All the little bunnies and all the little things. And I just love it so very much. So, in here is Easter women, Easter Whimsies from Scissor Tail. Now I started these last year for Mania, did not like the fabric I was stitching them on. And so I um, have not actually worked on them really anymore because I just didn't like the fabric. So now I changed it and I'm putting it on that same PTP Orphan that I showed you a bit ago. Yeah. So there are four and I'm doing all four of them. So, so is that I'll just start with one. No, it's just considered one, one day okay, okay. and then I'll just choose. I just didn't know how you. Yeah. Because I could have easily bumped to 31 or 35. Oh, 34. I have several. I have three pen keep Oof. patterns. Okay. So three of them that have three or more. Like this one is patriotic pen <laughs> Speaking keeps. Of. Speaking <laughs> of. This one's patriotic and it has three. So if you remember, I started this last year for Mania as well. I've restarted it twice already. Did not like the fabric, did not like the flosses I was using, all the things. And so I am going to stitch that over one on this 20 count uh, from Weeks Dye Works called Blue Jeans. And so I'm going to stitch over one on these. That's I don't cool. think I said that on the other one I'm using for Blue Jeans, I'm stitching over one as well because 20 count, I don't think I, I don't think I want to do that. I don't know. Let me help you. Thank you. You're welcome. We'll see. This is all subject to change before mania, I guess. <laughs> okay. The next one is in this really cute thing. It's a Christmas bag. It's a Christmas pattern, but it doesn't match the pattern at all, but that's okay. I am doing all of these Prairie Schooler Santas. My mom bought me this in August of last year when we went to Keepsake. She brought this downstairs. Um, if y'all remember, that's when I was having most of my leg issues and I couldn't go up and down stairs at all. And so she would go upstairs, she would grab a few things and she would come back down the stairs and she would show me all these things. And she'd go back upstairs and pick out a few more things and she'd come back down. So she found this and she was like, I don't care if you want this or not, but I'm buying this for you because it needs to go on your Christmas tree. So, um, Thanks, Mom. yes, we don't, um, in our household, we don't... Please um, don't hate us when we say this. Please don't hate us. And if there are small ears listening... Just hold on. Pause. And watch when they're not around, basically. Cool. Uh, we don't do Santa Claus in our house. We use him. Like, we know that he is a Christmas decoration. Um, and this is actually St. Nicholas. This is not Santa Claus. This is St. Nicholas, which are, I, I am aware of two different things. Uh, we don't... Our kids don't believe in Santa. Um, and it's not that I'm a mean mom and you're a mean dad. We, we hear that a lot. Um, not from our kids, obviously, but, um, 
we appreciate the tradition of Santa and our kids appreciate the tra tradition of Santa. I And they respect the views of other families. So yes, our, our kids absolutely. are not those kids to be like, Santa's not real. Yeah, we're, not, we're not doing no, that. No, we don't so, do that. Um, in fact, we have a lot of, vin I collect vintage Santas to decorate our house with. Uh, during Christmas time. And so we respect the tradition of Santa and we love like the decoration that he adds to Christmas, but our kids don't go to bed on Christmas Eve thinking that Santa is coming. I mean, yes. So anyway, that's a, that's a whole other I story. Say, I, you but, say this to say, so I can say that I'm just waiting for the comments. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So please don't hate us. Please it's don't just, hate us. It's just a, it's just a it's choice. It's just something we chose. It shows. It's just something we yep. choose in our family. So, but with that being said, this is St. Nicholas and I really like these Santas. You've been wanting to stitch on this, <gasps> stitch this for a little while and I keep stealing but your fabric. But do you know that I am so, yes. So Nyx, <laughs> guys, Nyx, that he used for his sampler for 2020, I had bought for this. And I'm so glad I didn't start it on that because now that I stitched on 40 count and I love it and obsessed with it, I want these to go on 40 count. So these are going on 40 count Confederate gray with all the called for DMCs. And I am, I am doing them as separate ornaments. So I have all of those cut and ready to go. Thank you for donating your necks. Yes. I'm happy to, because now I realize I want to put it on different. Fabric. And that project. So, is exactly so like that, new. that there are nine of those. So that's not nine new starts, which some people, some people, if they start a series, they count that. Sure. As, and you can because yeah. it's, it's your mania. Exactly. It's your mania. Okay. So sorry about that. The next one is this Country Cottage Needleworks land that I love. I was sent this last year. We both uh, were sent um, this last year to participate in a sale that was happening, but we didn't get it until um, the very end of the south. So we didn't have time to join in when everybody was almost done. Right. So I put this in our kit up stuff and I am using it here. There was um, a different floss variation that came with it. I have since substituted a few of those out. So I've made several substitutions to this to where it's, it's not even what's called for anymore and it's not what was sent to us. So, and again, I am stitching this on 40 count Confederate gray because I'm obsessed. Love All it. the 40 count things. So, yes, that is Country Cottage Needleworks. I have butter <laughs> fingers today. I'm just dropping everything. We are almost done, guys. I can see the end in sight. Oh, my goodness. Okay. The next one is in this just very plain bag that, again, I just tried to, like, get some bags thrown together so that I could have them ready. So, but look at this inside fabric of that. It's rulers. Riley Blake. Isn't that so cute? Okay. So this one is Thread Needle Street from Annie B's. We picked this up at market because I love it so much. And the floss toss for this is gorgeous. So this is going on that 32 count orphan from PTP. This is a lot. Uh, that looks really dark, but it's, yeah, there we go. There That's we go. a pretty good floss or pretty good fabric color. So I really like this kind of wine color fabric. Um, I got a quarter of a yard of it. Uh, we And so I've kind of spread it out over a lot of projects and I really like it. Look at this Christmas bag. That's awesome. And it has the same ruler fabric on the inside of it. <clears throat> this one is Needle Bling Designs Christmas Eve Ride. May you never be too old to search the skies on Christmas Eve. So again... We respect the uh, tradition of Santa Claus and that whole thing. I grew up believing in Santa Claus. That was that was my family's decision um, then, and I, it's totally fine. Um, and so I do I do like the tradition sure. of Santa Claus, and so um, that's why I wanted to stitch this because I just think it's so cute. It is very cute. We picked this up at StitchCon last year. So I am doing the called for weeks dye works in that, and I am putting it on the 32 count bikini that we bought a yard of, and we are coffee dyeing this in a video either today or tomorrow. Yes. So you should see that Easy video come out next week, maybe. So that is a 32 count bikini by Avlia. Okay. The next one I have is such a special project. 
So um, you heard me talk about this a little bit last year after StitchCon, but we had a really hard transition last year, uh, right after StitchCon, maybe a month after StitchCon, we had a hard transition in our business. And um, I was able to have a conversation with Barbara Hills over at Keepsakes during StitchCon. And she just, um, you know, she pulled me aside in the annex room, which is like their little store that they had set up at StitchCon. For trunk shows and stuff like that. Yes. And she pulled me aside. I've, I've told this story before. She pulled me aside and we were kind of talking about the said situation and just kind of the transition that we were going through. And she said, you know, we just want to welcome you with open arms and we just want you to know that, that we love you and, and we are here to support your success and um, here to just mentor you in any way that we could possibly have. And we had a very similar conversation in, in uh, Nashville at Market this year. Yes. And she said the words welcome home. And for the time that we were going through in our business and the big transitions that were happening, that actually brought tears to my eyes because we were really struggling. And um, I mean, that's no secret. You guys have seen kind of a, a change in our channel. It's not to say that we aren't doing quilting anymore, uh, but we've we've really thinned out the quilting things that we are doing. Not saying we're not going to come back with them. Correct. Yeah. So just kind of give us give us a uh, some grace around that. Yeah. Uh, if you can, just. Yep. I'm not going into it now. Yeah. Uh, but. Anyway, to say that, to say this is what she's doing. Yes. So Barbara had said the words, welcome home. And then she reiterated that at market this year. And she said, like, when I said welcome home, I really meant welcome home. Like, we are glad to have you. We want to come alongside and encourage you. And that was just really, really touching for Correct. me. So then when we went to Keepsakes at StitchCon, like, we took the Stitchy bus over. Oh, yeah. I saw this pattern that is the Keepsakes house from Sue Hillis. I was like, this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. And then at StitchCon, they gave us, this was in the middle of our table as a, as a little tent here. They gave us the StitchCon um, logo. logo. And so my idea originally was to not, this says peace be to this house and the stitchers within. I was originally going to take that out and put the StitchCon logo in the bottom. But now I'm actually not doing that. I am going to stitch just the house. And then with these sampler letters, I'm going to stitch welcome home across the bottom. Very touching. So that is such a touching thing. And I'm going to have Barbara. She doesn't frame anymore, but I, because it's so sentimental, she may. I want she her may. to finish it in some way. Uh, because it is such a sentimental piece. Yep. So I actually have chosen this petite dot. Those dots are actually blue. It's I chose cool this fabric. for them to go on. And then I will do the welcome home in some sort of red color because that is kind of their theme color. Um, at Key 6, their theme color is green. And at StitchCon, their theme color is red. So, so it will either be red or green. A home in the green gingham bag. Home of the green green gingham bag. Yep. So that is what I'm doing with Keepsakes House, and that's the story behind it. Mm -hmm. And I will just be very, very excited to put that together and start stitching on it. So this is a so much to love. Pro Did I almost hit you in the face again? Almost, almost. Koi, I'm gonna smack him in the face again. Okay. <laughs> so um, this is a so much to love project bag that Karen and Stephanie <laughs> worked on together, and Karen sent me. It's just so sweet. Um, we got this right after we got back from market and I just thought this was incredibly generous. Um, and we are putting, I am putting Queen of the Needle by Brenda Gervais. You guys have seen this before, I'm sure. Yes. I love it. And it's going on this white petite dot. That's cool. I love it. And this is more of a beige color. The other one was more of a light, uh, like a cream color. This is definitely a beige with white dots. And so if you look in the pattern, in the picture, there are like all these little white speckle, like not snowflakes, but they look like little, you know, like um, fairy dust is yeah, what they yeah, kind yeah. of look like. So I'm going to omit those and just use the dots. Naturally. Yes. That's awesome. So and I'm doing all the called for floss on that. That's great. Home stretch, guys. I'm on go. my last whip Here page. Here we go. Okay. So we picked up this kit from uh, Market, we got to meet JBW Designs and talk with her and she is just a lovely, lovely person. And so I am doing the Spring Bouquet Needle Book. And I am doing this with 32 Count Belfast. 
that was included with the pattern itself. <laughs> and I'm doing it with the call for DMCs. What are you laughing about? Uh, I did pick up all the DMCs. And our cats ate it. Dude, I'm so angry. They didn't eat it. They just tore it up real bad. And it was actually in a bag inside of a bag. Yes, it was in a Joanne's bag because we just picked it up this week. So yeah, because of everything going on, they put it inside of a bag, tied it, put it inside of a regular Joanne's bag. And the cats still got into it. We woke up the next morning and it was all over the house. Riddle, Six games of DMC all over that. the house. Yeah. Riddle so frustrating. That. Okay. So then my very last one, um, and I have not started this yet, but it goes along with the pin keeps. This is Halloween Whimsies from Scissor Tail Designs. I love this. Dude, only four? So cute. There are four. There, there were four in the Easter Whimsies. Wow. There were three in the Patriotic. Pin keeps. It just shows, I don't know, it just shows that you can do so many different things with. So small again, of we are tea, uh, coffee dyeing the Makini for these today or oh. tomorrow. So, yep. So there are four of those. So I will put mm -hmm. those on there. Awesome. I'm here for it. So, what I did to kind of just show you um, again with these um, whip cards, whip pages, let me find one that's more clear. Um, what I did is I just on my computer, I did two, so half a sheet. So I did like my, here's my sunny side. And then here's all the called for who the designer is, the fabric I'm using and all the floss I'm using. And then like, here's this. And then if I have substituted anything at all, it'll have like an asterisk at the bottom that says substitutions. And then that way, as I'm stitching within like the next year or whatever, and I'm like, Oh, what was this fabric again? I don't quite remember because Let's just be honest, I'm not going to remember 31 whips and what fabric they're on. Um, and so these are really, really helpful to help me do that. And I will just, um, which I've shown you guys this planner before, um, I am just going to hole punch them and include them in my 24 hours of cross stitch planner. They'll go, that's awesome. Yahtzee. Just picked it up. And everything fell out. That's okay. So it's just going to go maybe after this page or something. Yeah. So, yeah. Awesome. Whew. Guys, that is long. We are over an hour, I'm sure. We're over an hour. Uh, yeah. we, we've we've learned some things. We saw some things. Yes, we lost a light in the process. We lost a light in the process. Yes. We're going to stitch a bunch of fun things. I am so excited for Mania to start. Yes. I am here for it. I am so, so excited. I am excited to be working on projects that I want to work on. And yeah. Share us, uh, share with us what you're stitching for Mania or what you're getting ready for Are you for doing Mania? Mania? We have friends that aren't doing Mania. That's fine. And that's totally fine. Like, just tell us what your plans are for May. If they're not Mania, what are you doing? So, we would love to continue the conversation mm -hmm. down below. Yeah. Um, if you're not a uh, subscribed uh, to one of us, sorry, I got a little distracted there. <laughs> Uh, I just pinched his yeah, hand because like, he's over here shaking his Yeah, it's butt. all good. So um, keep up with all the uh, what we're going on here. Please subscribe. Uh, hit the all notification bell uh, so you get to know what we're doing. Yeah. So. Yeah. We'll figure out in the next couple of weeks, obviously. We'll figure out what our filming is going to look like for May and Mania. Um, I don't necessarily want to steal that idea from Pam and Steph. No. That's just what they do. They film a little bit every night. And then... Um, I don't know. We might film. I mean, we might just include it in our normal floss tube videos. I don't know. We'll just see what happens. It'll be fun. Yeah. I mean, there's no, there's no outline yet. So yeah. So I'm just interested in the comments below. Tell me what your mania plans are. And if you don't have mania plans or you don't want to participate in mania, in mania, what are your plans for the month of May? Absolutely. Yeah. So, all right. Well, if you guys have stayed around this long, oh Thank my you. goodness. Thank you so, so <laughs> much. Um, that's really, really awesome. So, um, you know what? And I'm going to spring this on you. You just did. I don't know where you're I going. I know. I know. Um, let's do two giveaways. Let's do two giveaways. We're going to do a chart from Market and a kit from Avlia. Sweet. So if you've stuck around this long, I want you to, in the comments give, below. Give them the rules. Yes. Give them the rules. Um, tell us what your plans are for May or Mania. Um, you do need to be subscribed in this. I'm sorry. It does need to stay within the U.S. Um, just because of the whole postal thing right now um and so um comment down below don't say giveaway and don't say like free or 
I would like the blah, blah, blah chart or, or don't whatever. Do and I don't know what ch the chart release is going to be for market, but I promise it will be really good. And it'll be from a market release this year. Um, so let's see, let's comment down below. Which one are you most excited to see us stitch? Ooh. Yeah. Which project are you most excited to see us stitch? So again, thank you so much for sticking thank around you. this long. It totally like sprung up that uh, I would be doing a giveaway. I didn't know that. So, um, but we appreciate that you guys watch our stuff and um, it's just really encouraging time right now for us. And uh, we just appreciate you guys so very much. And, so, And thank you for taking the time. Yeah. Uh, just thank you for being here with us. Yeah, absolutely. So comment down below. Let us know what your plans are, what you're most excited to see us stitch. And yeah, and we will, uh, we will see you guys Looking later. We will, yeah, we've got a couple of videos coming out. We've got a floss tube that we'll film tomorrow. And today we're going to try and coffee dye, uh, and maybe tea dye some fabric for mania projects. Absolutely. So, all right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us in the hive this week. Whew. We'll see you guys next week.